Okay. Um, it's been making the rounds over uh, the last week on TikTok and stuff where people are taking this alleged Kim Porter book and reading excerpts out of it. I wanted to see if you've heard about this and if you have any thoughts on the book itself. Well, no, number one, you know, I'm not going to sit up here and say it ain't factual, it ain't this, or it ain't that because we don't really know, right? But it's not sanctioned by the family. Just want y'all to know that. That is not the book that the family believes or, or know that Kim Porter was planning on putting out. No. This guy is came in to be a friend of Kim and he she turned over her her computer or hard drive or or something like that to him. Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna touch on the stuff that I know, not to be factual, and I'm gonna prove it to y'all right quick. Well, you know the group is over there saying how uh Kim Porter didn't meet Puffy until I think he said December of uh, 1994 when uh, he was working as an intern or something like that to, at Uptown Records. Well, like I always tell y'all, y'all need to stop listening to the motherfuckers just pulling shit off the internet because just because that's the only picture he was able to find with Kim Porter and Puffy, if he would have just went a little further and this is just something, and I'm not saying that it's true, you know, what the guy is allegate, his allegations are. I'm just saying his way of trying to tear the guy down is so not factual. We all know, anybody that knows that really know this stuff, that Puffy left uptown, him and Andre Harrell started having problems, and he went and opened up his label in July, July of 93. So that's when he left and, 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 and created Bad Boys and went and took the deal and got a deal over there with Arista and all of that. But this gentleman is saying that Tupac and Puffy was trying to both have sexual relationships with Kim. One of them said that you wasn't hitting it right and, and you know, was going to have sex with the girl and all of that, putting Kim... Came out like that. We all know Puffy and Pac were cool in 93. They all had some type of relationship, mainly because of his relationship with Biggie. But I'm just trying to show you, I don't believe that for that to be true. I don't believe that this guy uh, is authorized to put this book out. And But that don't mean that everything he's saying is not true. But I just want y'all to take it with a grain of salt, everything that y'all hearing, and fact check, because it's easy. The groupie did a decent job of showing pictures and stuff like that, but he went and took it to like 1994 is when, while Puffy was working as an intern or, or doing whatever he was doing with Andre Harrell, a and r that, that's when he met Kim Porter. We know Puffy wasn't working with Andre Herrero in 1994 at December. They might have went to a party. They might have been still cool. But he wasn't working for him. He left in 1993, July of 1993. So this is no where y'all getting y'all information from. I wouldn't support that book. But if you do support the book, Please take it with a grain of salt. And um, this fact check stuff, that's all I'm going to say. Because y'all got to remember, people say stuff, especially use Tupac name and all of that, to sell books. Because that is one of the main things that we've been talking about from the book, right? At least that's all the questions I've been saying in the comment section. What's your take on it, John? Um, from what I've seen, the family and friends of hers have flat out said the book is not true, that it's all fabricated. Um, so, yeah, I don't I don't know. I didn't do the research as far as to fact check what was said other than, you know, there was things in there where um, 
you know, they said that Kim overheard him talking about the Tupac hit and all that stuff, which is, you know, I'm not saying that that's not true. It just seems yeah. a little convenient. But, you know, whatever. Like you said, take it with a grain of salt. There's so much misinformation on the internet these days that you almost have to double check everything you read because there's just between TikTok and YouTube, you know, you can find whatever you, whatever you want to hear. You can find somebody telling you it's true <laughs> nowadays. But, um, but yeah, I just think like you, I encourage people to do their research whenever they're reading anything. And I hear I'll be sure, uh, which is a uh, cue that, uh, is planning on doing some talking and, and putting something out. And so it'll be interesting to see what he has to say. And just know that I'll be sure son Q, who Puffy has always said and has always been given credit to for raising it as a son, he was born in 1991. So that's an easy way for y'all to research just to see when did Puffy claim he started being Q's father. Just to show, and I'm just here to show y'all that that motherfucker over there don't know what he's talking about. If y'all go, and I'm not encouraging y'all to go listen to his video, but all, cause all he's saying is, 1994, December 1994, when he, he met her, when he was an intern at a, at a Christmas party. And I'm like, what the fuck he talking about? When I knew Puffy had been gone for, since 1993, which y'all can go pull up. I know y'all, Reggie don't know what you're talking about, Reggie. Just, just ask Google. Hey Google, when did Puffy create Bad Boy Records? When did he leave Andre Harrell? And it'll tell you, July 1993. Peace, one first.